We examine the standing ovation service. We also examine many more content regarding the case of Brandon Smiley. <clears throat> and it's very apparent that something ain't right. Now, the problem that I see here is the mom never spoke about her son, which in my humble opinion is very telling to say the least, especially when this is a child that you birthed. And to see that there was an alleged uh, funeral service or whatever you want to call that, and the mother never spoke about her own son. It speaks volumes of the kind of relationship one had. Now, typically what emotional people will say is they'll say things like, well, um, she's grieving. She just can't talk. And, you know, I'm just so tired of these kind of people that they just keep being emotional all day and they keep trying to defend everybody else's grief. Like, wh what's the matter with people in today's day? And it's normally the religious kind of people. Again, when one lose a loved one, right? And there's a death in the family. It's supposed to be a private matter between the family, not the public. Uh, so when the public is talking about these issues because the family made it a public issue, I don't know why people get mad at the public for talking about these issues. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm not the one who came out in the public to say that my loved ones has passed away. That's Ricky Smiley. And once Ricky Smiley do that, he's using his family for content. I mean, if you just go to Ricky Smiley's platform, this man uploaded so many videos regarding the death of his son and all of the videos are monetized, which mean He's capitalizing off of the death of his son. See, I'm a content creator. This is what I do. So I get paid to do what I do. This is what I do. You understand? I'm not up here trying to capitalize off of my own family's death. Because if you're hurting inside, you would not be monetizing your video in terms of a loved one that passed away. And you wouldn't keep making video after video after video after video. In one particular video, you see the military people giving him the flag, but he gave it to the father, not the mother, which is interesting. You know, not the mother. So, you know, it's a couple of red flags that come into play when you see things like this happen. Uh, you know that normally they give these things to the mother. But for some odd reason, they didn't do that. They gave it to Ricky, which is very suspect. It just doesn't look right. But nonetheless, I find that on social media, a lot of times religious folks that are emotional, they don't seem to understand the, the, the capacity of the problem. They don't realize that this issue here goes very deep. When someone in your family die, and you publicize it on social media, social media is going to talk. So to the religious folks and the people that are emotional, you have to understand you cannot be upset with people because they're talking about these people. These people put their business out there for the world to talk about. They put their information out there for the world to talk about. I don't see you complaining about how much content Ricky Smiley keep putting out over and over and over about his son, which is all monetized. You don't got a problem with that. Why? That's rather hypocritical, to say the least. I mean, think about this. Every little detail you're going to post. The man posts a video of him talking about spending time with my granddaughter. Really? So let me get this straight. You had to post a video to show the world that you're spending time with your granddaughter. Obviously, you never really do that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember when I taught in a class that you have a lot of black men that come on social media like Instagram and so forth, and they always posting pictures with their children. 
And the truth is they really don't spend no time with their children, but they post images because images make it look like he's an active father, but on the real, real, he's never really around his son or daughter. And the baby mama knows this, and she's disgusted when she sees his social media with all these video clips and images. It paints the picture of a good father. But behind the scenes, he never spent any time with his children. And that's exactly what I see when I look at Ricky Smiley. He posts a video clip of him with the daughter, his granddaughter, talking about I'm spending time with her after laying my son to rest. Notice, every video is after laying my son to rest. Everything is death. Everything is capitalizing off of the death. And he had to prove to the world that he's spending time with his granddaughter, which he really never really do. But he had to do that for social media. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, the public is going to talk. Influencers will talk. Truth of the matter is, why mom? Why? Why mom? Reason why Brandon Smiley mother never spoke about her son at the funeral because she didn't have a relationship with him. Point blank, straight to the point, no sugar coat. When you don't have a relationship with someone, you don't have anything to say. To be honest with you, based on what I saw, none of them really had a relationship with him. I mean, everybody's wearing dark shades. Why are you wearing dark shades at a funeral? Like, this doesn't even make sense. When people are wearing dark shades at a funeral, it's to hide their eyes because their eyes tell the truth that they really never cared, but they're doing what they're doing to save face to appear one way in the public. And their speeches never really sound authentic because it doesn't show no love. Now, we reviewed a video where you saw that woman with her accusations against Ricky Smiley. She showed real grief. She showed real love and care for her brother that passed away. But when you looked at the family, you didn't really see no, no grief. You didn't see no tears. Nobody was crying. Nobody. All you hear was a bunch of sniffles into the microphone. Reason why Brandon Smiley's mother did not speak regarding her son, in my humble opinion, is because she didn't really have a relationship with him. And it's just that simple. Um, when someone dies and you have nothing to say, it's not because you're grieving. Um, you just don't have anything, anything to say because you know that you really didn't have no connection with them. And this is really what's happening in today's day. A lot of family members don't get along. Um, it just not happening in today's day. A lot of you in the, in the chat, your family don't get along the way you would like it to be. You know, you haven't spoken with cousins in years, uncles, you don't even know them no more. People passed away. You didn't even attend their funerals. Why? Because you don't have no connection with them. You, there's nothing there. The content of this video does not represent the thoughts of the broadcaster of Monique Nancy. But we would like to hear from you about this issue. What's your take on this? Do you believe this? Do you believe what is said in this video? Let us know in the comment section. We are looking forward to your views. See you in the next video. In case you're still here and watching this video, we would like to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and also to let you know that your support means a lot to us. We would like you to share this video, like and comment. See you in the next video.